Guys, so what's the difference between a pit bull and a bully? Lord have mercy, I get this question all the time. Oh dang, some white out on my. So pit bull, American bully. What's the difference? You tell me. T Fit here with Fit Bully TV. Let's look at a couple things here. If you are a African, let's put it right. Look, I'm tripping. I spelled it right, but I ain't write it right. It look crazy. If you're African American, and according to the Constitution, if you mix that with anything, and you have one eighth. African American in you, what does that make you? Well, according to the good old Constitution of America, if you've got a one eighth of a nigger in you, use a nigger. That's what you are. That's what you're gonna always be. Now, you could have blonde hair, blue eyes, but let the DNS DNA test show that you've got one eighth of this thing in you. Cause that thing is in you. Then you say, uh-oh, I was colored. <laughs> I was colored, boss. So when you want to know what the difference between this and this is, you can do a wisdom panel, which I believe does a pretty good job of keeping it one thou wow, as they say. And in this, it'll give you a breakdown. It won't say American Bully. It'll say, hey, you've got 67% pit bull. You've got 30%... Bulldog, you've got 30% Chihuahua, Pug, Staffy. At the end of the day, I would guess, and it's, it was just my imagination once again. If you have more than 25%, if you have 15% or more, I'm guessing. Just my imagination. That this brother here is this. This has 150 years of truth, of fact. A uh, pit bull fully grown is 65 pounds according to your UKC standard. 150 years of, of information. You ain't got a good 20 here. Not even a good 20 here. So if I don't have 20 here, but 150 there, and over 20, 15 to 25% of my dog is American Staffordshire Terror, Staffordshire Terror, or American Pitbull Terror, even if it looks like this idea, the DNA shows it is this. Which is why so many people are still getting confused and a little discouraged. But let's be, let's just call a pig a pig. Because if a dog, looks bigger than a pit bull and it is an i mean 65 pounds and bigger call it a bully call it whatever you want if you got your paperwork that's all that really matters is you have the truth that you have the truth and the truth and behind your dog is you've got your abkc paperwork or whatever other registration that registers ab american bullies and it says american bully then as they say, so be it. So be it, your dog is an American bully. But if you want the in fact to, reason why I would even do this is because if your dog has this in it and any percent higher than 25, it got that dog in it. And you need to know how to manage this dog. So when you're educating people on breeding better dogs or bettering their programs, buying from your program, it is imperative, in my opinion. And let me be very clear in saying, hey, I know that we, we started with a terrier influence on our bullies. And that was my goal. I wanted good health. I wanted good breathing. I wanted focus. I wanted drive. I wanted intelligence. I wanted a lot of good things that the pit bull has and I wanted to build it around this which means technically I just need to add this <laughs> that's it that's all they add is a bulldog in some form of fashion but as long as I know that 25% of the dogs that I have or if I got this technically it's this but realistically it's that because they don't look like this I don't know what this looks like all day every day this a lot of questions behind it people a lot of questions. So many of them look so different. You've got a cane corso. You've got this massive influence. You've got all these influences on these dogs trying to be bigger and badder dogs. For now, stay tuned. 
Take care of your dogs. Take care of your business. Learn as much as you can. Don't forget, one eighth, one eighth Negro, and use a Negro. If you have, in my opinion, 15 to 25 percent pit bull, technically it's a pit bull. If you have 25 to 15 percent bulldog, guess what? Technically, it's just a bulldog. I want it to be an American bully, but the American bully was supposed to be a pit bull on steroids. What happens when you mix these two things, you kind of get that. And they keep lying about this. Oh no, we didn't use the bulldog. Maybe you didn't, but it's in there now. So figure out how to use this effectively so you can create this thing, but make sure that it has the health of that thing. God, that's confusing. Petachievers.com so you can learn more about you and your dogs. Stay tuned. Take care of yours, and we'll continue to take care of ours.